Welcome to our third annual holiday nail art series with me, Sarah, from Sarah's Nail Secrets. And Talia from Talia's Nail Tales. This year we're doing 12 designs, but we're going to space them out a little bit different so the series lasts until Christmas. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a tutorial. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. Hey guys, today's theme is Crazy Christmas. So I had to bust out some red and green for this design. I'm only going to show you the one hand on the bottom, not the top. <laughs> so let's get started. This is how her set looks before. I filed them all down, added a clear base, all that good stuff. Now we're just going in with color. I'm going to do one hand at a time um, for this video, but I actually do switch back and forth and let things dry and go back and whatever. But just so it's not confusing for you guys, I'll stick to the one nail and then move on. So I'm coming in with Glitter Bells Snowdrops White. It is just a plain white core powder. And I'm uh, making a smile line with this. So this is going to be kind of like a color block nail with red and green and white, like a candy cane. But the morning that I was doing this, I actually thought about doing that new technique you guys have probably seen everywhere called 3D French. It's basically just doing um, like color blocking by adding clear as the majority and that way it looks like it's coming out of the nail 3d it's really cool anyways but i tried doing it and i don't know i found it a lot harder than it appears to be so i ended up changing my mind last minute and just doing a color block instead so to do this color block i apply a bead in the center of the nail i create my smile line just carving out using my brush you guys can get one of those um smile line cutters off like amazon or ebay if you prefer and then after I get that, I go in with the bead for my cuticle area. And then I just work on the nail um, until I get it thick enough because you're gonna wanna have a nice deep ledge to push the color, the next color up to. So I just play around until I get that done. So like I said, I would let this dry and move on, but for the sake of this video, I have let that dry and now I'm coming in and I'm filing that ledge. So it's completely dry at this point. I've worked on a couple other nails, came back to it. So I'm just filing the line so it's really, really straight, if you know what I mean. Like uh, it has a ledge that's like even on all over. And then I wipe off all the dust and then I'm going to come in with this beautiful red from Glitter Balls called Strawberry Delight. And I'm just applying it and then pushing it up towards the ledge and trying not to overlap it um, because I, yeah, I just, I don't file this part. I just leave it. Um, I'm going to encapsulate this nail, but, uh, and I'm going to add clear right now, as you can see, <laughs> just so that my ledge is really, really thick. It's really important to make sure that the ledge you have for any kind of color blocking is even and thick. So again, moved on, did some other nails, let that dry, coming back, filing that line, and then I'm going over the nail, and then I cleanse it, and then I'm applying my next color. Oh, I don't cleanse it. Sorry, I don't cleanse the nail. I did not cleanse it. I just wiped it off, because you just don't want dust everywhere. So now I'm applying another thing of Snowdrops White along that line, pushing it up towards the ledge, and then creating another ledge for the next color. Again, let that fully dry. Did some other nails. Coming back to it, filing the ledge again. So I'm using a 100 grit file for that. I'm just filing straight across and then I'm gonna dust it off. Go in with Emeralda. It is just a stunning emerald green glitter with some holographic silver in it. It's super pretty. So I'm just applying that at the tip and then I will encapsulate that little bit there. And then I actually end up encapsulating this entire nail. I just I just like my nails to be really even before finish filing. So even when you do color blocking, you sometimes don't need to encapsulate, but I just do because I just, I just like to. So I'm just adding that clear there, trying to get it to fully cover that green. And now I'm moving on. <laughs> so um, on the pointer finger, I'm doing plain white. On the pinky nail, I also did a white nail, but I added glitter to it. I didn't have the footage of me applying on the pinky because it was kind of blurry, so I just didn't bother since it's exactly the same as this. So I apply a bead 
in the middle of the nail and then I work it down the nail down towards the very tip and then I will work on my cuticle bead. So the brush I'm using here is the number 12. So now I'm just picking up a bigger bead, applying it near the cuticle area, and then I'm cleaning off my brush, pushing it up towards the cuticle area, and if it is too wet, I wipe off my brush again, and then I start working on working it around the cuticle area, trying to get it nice and even, and then I'm going to blend that down into the bottom bead. So I'm adding these glitters that are red, green, and gold. They're like little dots. I got these from Glitter Heaven Australia uh, a while back, and I thought they'd be perfect to do a little reef with, so I'm just kind of strategically placing them. I did mix this glitter with clear acrylic, but it comes as a loose glitter. I just mixed it myself. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a round circle to start, and then I will pick up individual pieces to put it where I want it like these little dots and stuff so I thought this was so cute I'm so happy with how this turned out I didn't think that this would look as cute as it ends up turning out and then I add a little bow at the end oh my god it's so cute just like a little Christmas wreath on her middle fingers I'm gonna be going in with a glitter fade mixed into each other so the red I'm using here is called hot chili and I'm applying it on the tip first sorry my camera decided that the gold dots in the background were more interesting to focus on so annoying shouldn't have used that as a background sorry guys but now it's focused okay <laughs> and then I'm applying that same emerald green that I applied on the other nail on the top half of this I'm going to kind of like swipe it into the red really like carefully with my brush I'm doing like really really light strokes into that red in order for it to blend without wiping off the red if you know what I mean and now I'm coming in with my cuticle bead trying to get that nice around the cuticle area pushing it close and then blending it down the nail into the red cleaning up the sides and then I'm gonna go in and add some glitter so I'm gonna be using my glitter which is Sarah from glitter balls I love this one, obviously, because it was named after me, because I love emerald green. So it's a beautiful emerald green chunky glitter that I'm applying on the emerald color. And then we're going to go in some chunky glitters for the red. And these are from the nail team. One of them is called Ruby. One of them is called Garnet. And I'm just kind of mixing them for dimension and just applying that over top with some clear acrylic. So I, they're a loose glitter. So they're not mixed with anything. So that's how that looks. So now I'm encapsulating these nails. Um, like I said, I'm encapsulating this nail even though I have a lot going on and even though I kind of already encapsulated everything, I just encapsulating again. I don't <laughs> that's just what I do. And then I'm gonna make sure that the bottom of the nail matches the rest of the nail. Just easier for finish filing at the end. So it looks kind of crazy now, but after I file it, it'll look fine. And then when I'm applying on nails like this, I just apply a bead near the tip first. I try to get my tip bead done and then I work on my apex and my cuticle bead. After that, I did finish file off camera because I didn't want this video to be too long. Now I'm coming in with some stamping. I was out of frame a lot, so you might just see the stamping happen. So I applied a little bow here and then I'm cleaning off the excess. On her other hand, you guys didn't see this hand, but I just applied that green on the one nail and then I'm doing these ornament stamps. I didn't bother doing, it's a layered stamp, but I didn't bother. I like just the white outline. And then on her pointer finger, on the one hand, I or actually this is the ring finger on the other hand I didn't show you guys me doing this but I did some holly I thought that'd be really pretty shifting back over to her original hand I am doing green and red snowflakes which I thought were so cute and just tied everything together on this nail for crystals I kept it pretty random I'm not doing anything specific I'm just adding crystals randomly so I always like to do something right in the center when I do glitter feeds like this so I'm doing this like pretty like I guess it's just crystal colored in the center and then I'm doing red and um, white opal just like that and then on this nail I'm adding some white and green and red crystals as well I actually added crystals on every nail in this set but I didn't 
sh bother filming it. And in the center of the bow, I'm just adding a small white opal crystal. I thought that turned out so cute. Some little crystals on the pinky. And now we can go in with our top coat. So I'm using my Glitter Bells No Wipe top coat. And sometimes when you apply top coat over top of stamps, you need to um, do two coats or you need to flash cure it. So I didn't with this one though, <laughs> but just in case that ever happens to you guys. So I am not getting this top coat on the crystals. I'm just going around the crystals. So looking at this hand, which nail is your guys' favorite? I'm going to go with the reef nail. I really like that one. And then I'll show you guys the other hand, top coating it. Actually, first I'll show you what's on the thumb here. You guys didn't see me doing this because it was blurry because the background's stealing the show. But it's just a red nail with chunky glitter, snowflakes, and then it says Merry Christmas. And then I did her other hand, similar but different. They flow nicely, but this is what the other hand looked like. The pinky is kind of like the middle finger, but with some crystals on the side. You guys saw me adding some holly on this ring finger. The middle finger is a different style of color blocking. And then the thumb, you can kind of see in this frame, is like the other hand's pinky. And then I have the green nail with the ornaments. So after all the nails have been cured, I wipe off all the polish left behind, give her some cuticle oil, have her wash her hands, and here is my finished design. I really like the set. <laughs> I hope you guys like this set too. I had so much fun creating this. I just love all, I love when both hands are kind of different. A lot of my clients, well, my ex-clients, I don't really do nails that much anymore, but a lot of my clients used to love um, doing both hands different and cohesive. Make sure you go check out what Talia did. I freaking love her set. I love the plaid. Oh, so cute. So make sure you head on over to her channel as well and check out her video. So thanks so much, guys, for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Please consider subscribing and click the bell next to the subscription button in order to be notified when I post. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.